And this month we're celebrating everything April 2 for the Apple II. And what I have here is an Apple IIe, generously donated by Adam McGee. His YouTube channel is Adam's Apples, and he does fantastic things with the Apple II lineup. He has a great collection of them. He's very knowledgeable, so I'll put a link in the description to his channel. But a little bit more on this machine. This has a very interesting history, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it. So basically, the Apple II Plus was followed in 1983 by the Apple IIe, a cost-reduced yet more powerful machine that used newer chips to reduce the component count and new features such as the display of an upper lowercase letters and a standard 64 kilobyte of RAM. The Apple IIe RAM was configured as if it were a 48 kilobyte Apple II Plus with a language card. The machine had no slot zero, but instead had an auxiliary slot that for most practical purposes took the place of the slot 3, the most commonly used slot for the 80 column cards in the 2 Plus. The Apple IIe was the most popular Apple II ever built and was widely considered the workhorse of the line. It also had the distinction of being the longest lived Apple computer of all time. It was manufactured and sold with only minor changes for nearly 11 years. In that time, following the original, two important variations were introduced known as the Apple IIe Enhanced. Four new replacement chips to give it some of the features of the later model Apple IIc, including an upgraded processor called the 65CO2 and the Apple IIe Platinum, a modernized new look for the case color to match other Apple products of the year along with the addition of a built-in numeric keypad, an enhanced 2E with 128 kilobyte of RAM can be considered the minimum requirement for running most Apple II software releases. After 1988, the 2E models were distinguished from their standard 2E by having 128 kilobyte of memory, DHDR graphics mode, and a 65CO2 CPU. Introduced in January of 1983, and discontinued in 1987. The initial price for these machines was roughly around $1,400. The original color was beige. And the interesting facts is the, uh, the weight and dimensions. It weighed roughly 11.5 pounds. It was 4.5 inches high, 15.25 inches wide, and 18 inches deep. The processor, MOS Technology 6052A, the Apple IIe, or the 65 CO2 Apple IIe Enhanced, which this is the enhanced model. The processor speed was a whopping one megahertz back in the day, eight bit architecture, one core, one megahertz system bus. Now this didn't have a hard drive, so your media was the optional cassette interface or disc two, like this one, or a dual disc floppy drive. The original OS, Apple DOS 3.3 and Pro DOS 8 memory. 64 kilobytes. The maximum memory is one megabyte, but the actual is 128K per Apple. Memory slots, memory expansion card can be installed in the auxiliary slot. Graphics, one RCA for composite video output. External resolution, 40 by 48, which is 15 colors. 280 by 192, six color. 80 by 48, 15 color and 560 by 192 15 colors. The text display, 40 column text, 24 lines, or 80 column text, 24 lines. Connections, again, a cassette in, out at 1500 BBS. Uh, now you can play games on this. There is an internal 16 pin game IO and one external DE9. Has one RCA composite video output and one audio built in speaker. Now, like I said, I got this from Adam, and everything works. The floppy drive works, the machine works, and we also have a W drive, which is a modern solid state solution for actually having, uh, instead of using this, we can use this stored on that via an SD card. So you can always add programs and change the things on it, which is really nice. Now, granted, I don't have a joystick, so I really can't play games the fun way. I can do them with the keyboard. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know a whole lot about these machines. I'm still learning. I wanted to share this with you for the month of April to celebrate the April 2 and celebrate all these lovely Apple machines.
I don't actually have an Apple monitor. I do have one coming eventually. I have someone that has one that's going to sell me one in the future. But what we use right now is this Enyo. It's a very inexpensive display, but it works. It has many ports, but most importantly, it has the RCA input on it, which is great. But it has many other inputs too. So this is what I use to play with this. I will power this up. Like I said, I <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of stuff I can do on this thing. Uh, the, again, I, had, I do have a couple floppy disks for this, but just gonna show you just briefly with the W drive here. There we go. Put in the right, there we go. All right, let's face it. Let's fix this again. All right, let's, all right. So let's, uh, power this up here, get this all lined up here, and we're going to power it up here, that famous Apple IIe beep, and it's doing the, uh, there we go, and it's doing this little thing here. Basic, run the Apple Basic. And like I said, this uh, monitor uh, works on it. Uh, the actual Apple Color monitor will be a little nicer, obviously. Be more, um, it'll be more technically error correct. But basically, um, yeah, this is the Apple DOS. I want to learn more about this, how to do certain things in Apple DOS. I think that'd be pretty fun to play with. But we can hit one here. And let's see here. Introduction. And you can see it says that you're interested in learning the program well. You've come to the right place. Please press return. So we'll hit return. And there are lots of There are lots of human languages like English, French, German, and there are a lot of computer languages. One of these languages is basic. So it's prompted me to hit enter again. And has different dis basic. Most of the words and the language are very easy to understand. We're going to teach you some of these basic words you need to start programming. So we hit return again. One thing you'll need to know is that if you hit the delete key, it doesn't remove the character Applesoft Basic. If you make a mistake here at any time in the Applesoft Basic back up with the left arrow key and retype. So let's hit the return key again. So it says, type your name. So I'll type my name, hit enter. And it's asking me to press uh, white for yes. If it's correct, then press return. Press return. Oh, yes. There we go. Hit return again. So this kind of gives you some of the stuff with basic. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can do to this. I mean, I haven't even scratched the surface of this. But uh, when I actually get the manual for this and some of the programs, I'll, uh, I'm going to teach myself a little bit more of this here. And uh, yeah, but it's pretty cool. Um, I really like this um, machine. I've never ever had one before. And again, I'm very thankful. Now, what I did have to do on this thing, and let me uh, turn this off here real quick. This is the uh, W drive here, but you can see right here, you get little prompts here. You can uh, you can uh, go down and narrow down through different uh, programs and stuff. I just got this on the Apple Basic. 
but you can there's but there are games on here and all kinds of neat stuff. And speaking of neat stuff, these Apple II disc, these things can break off. And there's a gentleman, his name's uh, Javier, uh, he goes by Havemaster, and he had actually PCBOA, he had them print him up a case. Not, and not just the case, because that was from Mac Effects, the clear case. Uh, but he had to make the front face plate because uh, they have a special process that it makes it stronger. And so he got that as a project that he did. I'll put a link in the video in the description for that. Very cool project. But, but PCB Way can do many things. PCB Way, and they offer a variety of services like PCB prototyping, PCB assembly, Flex Rigid Flex PCB, CNC machining, 3D printing, offering you the best value, fast turnaround, one-on-one -on -one assistance, truly a one-stop solution for PCB and assembly. So go to PCBWay.com and see what they can do for you. But again, uh, this, this drive works. Again, this drive works. The W drive works. I got this from uh, Ron's computer videos. And I really appreciate you, Ron, for uh, helping me out with this. Uh, he gave me a really good deal on it, and I'm really appreciative of it. It's, it's just a really nice modern solution, so you don't always have to use the, the floppy drive, which is pretty cool. But it's nice. You can still do both of them. But this is the Apple IIe Enhanced. I really like this machine. I'm really excited to learn more about it, have more fun with it. Please like, subscribe and click that notification bell. We're on Twitter, Mastodon, MeWe. You can reach out to me there. We also have Patreon. If you want to do a Patreon donation, that's great. Become a Patreon member. That's awesome. You'll get early access to videos like this one coming out. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.